you've learned the principles for giving medication in your child care program and had an opportunity to practice these skills. Now you must show your MAC trainer that you are able to safely give medication. You will be asked to complete two skills demonstrations, the randomized skills demonstration and the liquid measuring competency. In the randomized skills demonstration, you will be tested on your ability to give medication as a complete process, including getting ready to give the medication, giving it, and then writing down that you gave it. For this demonstration, you will be randomly tested using one of the following routes, topical, in the mouth, inhaled through the mouth, inhaled through the nose, applying a medicated patch in the eye or in the ear. When completing the skills demonstration, you must complete all the steps for giving medication. Since you can use all of the handouts provided, you should use the one titled, Giving Medication Safely, as a guide. You should also use the handout that refers to the route you are being asked to demonstrate. For example, if you have to show giving medication in the eye, refer to the giving medication in the eye handout. Once you have all the handouts you will use, your mat trainer will give you a scenario. The scenario will tell you the date, time, and child requiring medication. In addition, you will get a completed written medication consent form, any package inserts or medication guides, and a log of administration. Take a few minutes to review this information before beginning. Your trainer's role will be to observe and document your ability to give medication safely. To do this, the trainer will need to take notes to document his or her observation of your skills demonstration. Once you start your demonstration, your mat trainer may not coach you in any way. You should verbalize all of the steps as you perform them so your mat trainer is aware of the steps you are completing. If needed, you may be given a second chance to complete the skills demonstration successfully. Before you try again, your trainer will review the areas you need to practice. In preparation for the test, let's watch as a child care provider performs the randomized skills demonstration so you can understand what it looks like. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Luz, why don't you come on up? Okay. Okay. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm All a little right. nervous. But... Okay. Well, don't be too nervous. Okay. You can just go through it nice and slow and you'll get through it and you'll do just fine, okay? <laughs> yep, thank right. you. Before we get started, let me just tell you kind of what we've got going on here so you okay. know what you're working with. Right behind you, we've got Simon and Michelle. They're the okay. two children. Michelle's the girl and Simon is the baby. They're our children and they are being supervised while you're doing the medication, okay? Just so you know that. Okay. We do have our medications over here. Our controlled medication is here, anything that needs to be locked. Okay. The medication storage box and our medication refrigerator. All right. Right here are our medication supplies, anything you might need. We've got gloves, we've got water spoons, anything like that. All right. This is our chair over here. This can be whatever you need for it to be. It could be a high chair if that's what you would need to give the medication safely to the child. Okay. And we've got a garbage can and we have a pretend sink over here because I'm not going to make you actually wash your hands. You'll just say to me, I'm washing my hands. Right. I'm washing the child's hands, okay? Okay. You could do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, did you have any questions before we get started? No, I don't. Okay. Now, I know you told me that you were nervous, and just remember it is a test, so I am going to be writing some things down. I'm not going to be talking to you. Okay. Don't let that make you any more nervous. It doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. All right, all right let me have you pick a card. Okay. Oral medication liquid. Okay. So why don't you get any handouts you'll need that okay. you would need for giving medication liquid. Okay. And I will get the paper that we need. All right. I'll be right okay. back. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I see that you have your handouts, mm -hmm. and I want to give you the paperwork you're going to need. The first thing I have is the scenario that tells you what's happening in this situation. Okay. I also have the written medication consent form. Okay. The log. And then I also have a pharmacy printout for the medication. Okay. So those are all the things that you're going to need. So if you read this, why don't you read the scenario for me? Okay. Michelle Lewis is a three-year-old child who attends your program. She has an ear infection and gets an antibiotic called amoxicillin given every day at 2 p.m. for two weeks. Her mother gave you a medicine cup to use when given the medication. 
Today is October 4th at 1.50 p.m. Using the attached paperwork, give Michelle her medication as directed. Okay, so why don't you take a minute, look through the materials, and when you're ready to begin, you just let me know. Okay. okay. I'm ready. All right. You can go ahead so and start go then. Ahead. Okay. So I'm just going to spread out to take some space up. Okay, look at the child's log to make sure the child didn't get her medication. Today's October 4th and she didn't get her medication yet. Okay, get the child, make sure she's ready to get her medication. So I'm gonna go get the child. Hi, Michelle, I'm, it's time for your medication. And I know this is Michelle because I work with her every day. Okay, just sit tight right there. Um, let's see. It says wash your hands and the child's hands. So we're going to make believe we're washing our hands and we're washing the child's hands. Okay. It says once the child is ready, bring the consent, child's consent form to where you store the medication and match the five rights. Okay, so this is the child's consent form. I'm going to take it out of the refrigerator, right? And so I have to match the five rights. It says, so I'm matching the five rights. And it's, I'm checking for the medication. This is amoxicillin, amoxicillin. The time is 2 p.m., which I know is right because I started at 1.50. Um, the dose is one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Root orally, this is by mouth. And then child's name, it says Michelle Lewis, Michelle Lewis. It says, check the instructions and the package information to see if there are any special instructions for giving the medication, such as with food or on an empty stomach. And so this is the pharmacy information sheet. And it says, follow directions for using this medication provided by a doctor. Okay, it says shake well, so I should shake it. And then it says, this may be taken with, this medicine may be taken on an empty stomach or with food. If you did not check the expiration date on the consent form and medication at the beginning of the day, check it now. Okay. And it says here it's not expired. Okay. And here's the consent form and it says here it's not expired. And so it's okay. okay. It says follow the instructions to prepare the medication. This will be different depending on the route and the medication. Look at the package or the insert if needed. Okay. So I'm going to move closer to Michelle. I'm going to close this so it's safe. Okay, um, so I can get myself together. Okay. Here's the consent form, and here is my sheet to follow. Okay. When measuring liquid medication, this is the child's first and last name should always be written in waterproof marker on the tool used to measure the liquid medication. And it is. This is Michelle Lewis. Um, in addition to any medication-specific instructions, follow these principles when measuring any liquid medication. Okay, I know I have an option to wear gloves, but I don't need to for this um, because she's taking it orally. Um, if you want to mark the correct dose on the tool with a pen, be sure to mark next to the measurement line, not over it. Okay, so I'm going to use my Sharpie. And this is one teaspoon on both the medication and the consent form, so I'm going to measure one teaspoon. Okay. Use the lowest point of the curvature, not the edges, to make sure you have the right amount of medication. Okay. So I'm going to turn it here. Okay. And I shook it already. Shaking it again. Okay. Pour it in there. It says if you pour too much into the tool, pour the excess into a clean disposable cup. Um, but I'm all set. I didn't pour too much. It's exactly one teaspoon. Okay. If you're using a medicine cup, put the cup on a flat surface after you have poured the medication and check it at level I. I've done that twice, but I'm going to do it again just to make sure. Um, pour a small amount of water into the cup after you give the medication and swish it around to get any medication that may have stuck to the sides and have the child drink the water. Okay. 
So before I give her medication, I should check my fibrites, right? Just to make sure I'm all set. The medication is amoxicillin, amoxicillin. The time is 2 p.m. and I know that's the time because we started at 150. Dose is one teaspoon. Um, give one teaspoon. Uh, root is oral by mouth. And the child's name is Michelle Lewis. Michelle Lewis. Okay, so I'm ready to give you your medication. Okay. So I'm gonna, Michelle, I'm ready to give you medication. And so I would give her a medication, right? Okay. And we can just pretend that you just gave that okay. to her. You okay. just pour that out as if you just gave it to her. All right. Thanks. And then I'm going to, it says if there's a little bit left over, I should use some water. So I'm going to pour a little bit of water in here to rinse it out. Okay. And I'm going to pretend I'm giving it to her as well. So I make sure she takes it off. Okay, great. You can just pour that in there for now. Thanks. Okay. I'm okay. going. Write down that you gave the medication. Okay. So I'm going to put this here and get my log. It says, immediately write down that you gave the medication to the child's log. Before you return the medication to the storage area, return the child to the group. Okay, so here's the log. Today is October 4th. I gave one teaspoon at 2 p.m. My name is Luce Marquez. Um, I'm not noting any side effects because I don't know yet. Um, it says, it's not as needed as given. That's not what it for um, and so nothing I don't need to fill anything else out okay now I'm gonna match the five rights one last time to make sure okay yeah yeah that's two o'clock it's the right time the dose is one teaspoon I'm gonna go over here one teaspoon the roots by mouth Oral. And the child's name is Michelle Lewis. And Michelle Lewis. Return the medication to the storage area immediately after you write down that you gave the medication. Okay, so I'm going to put this right back in the refrigerator. wash this out or pretend that I'm going to wash this out. Okay. Right? Okay. So that's clean. And then I'm going to wash my hands and Michelle's hands. My hands. Wash Michelle's hands. Okay. And then it says help the child return to the group. Okay. So Michelle, I'm going to take you back to your class. You did a nice job, Luce. You passed. I know that you were nervous, but you did all the steps. You checked the five rights, and you did a good job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. The second demonstration is called the liquid measuring competency. During this demonstration, you will be asked to show that you can measure liquid medication using one of the following administration tools, a medicine cup, dosing spoon, or an oral medication syringe. Because this test is designed to evaluate your ability to accurately measure liquid medication, you will not need to show all the steps for giving medication safely. Instead, you'll simply show that you can correctly measure a specified dose using a medication administration tool. Once you have randomly selected the tool you will need to use, your MAT trainer will tell you the dose you need to measure. If needed, you may be given a second chance to complete the liquid measuring competency successfully.